Hey folks, welcome back to Forever Skies. This is Noble Rambler and trying to remember last episode. It's been quite a while since I have recorded, well, anything, but seems like as we pulled up to this one in a storm, it was called the Command Center. Is that right? Is that what I'm remembering? Anyway, it's not your typical wind farm. There's the propellers over there, but they have used this for something else entirely. So, much more advanced. So, let's see what we can find out here. I see my sleep, water, and food and health are all in pretty good shape. We've got a bunch going on down there, and whoa, all the way down there. Over here, up above. Wow, there's something here. And, wow, there's quite a drop down there. Okay, this may be the entire episode, just trying to figure all this out. Let's go above and see what we've got. Right now, it's not lightning and, and thundering, so probably a good time to do the high parts. Um, I see helium. Let's grab onto that. What do I have for inventory? Um, I see I've got some food. You're boiled, too. Cool. <laughs> okay, so we're not that hungry yet. More helium. And let's head out over here first. Whoa. Okay. Do not fall. Diagonal. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Good here. Around the side. Nope. Up above, I think it's just a landing spot, so we don't need to go there. There we go, this side. And almost missed that. Okay. No, I don't feel like sprinting out across some of these... Uh, these beams. I see other people playing this game. They're just sprinting all over and I'm thinking, dude, you're not going to live long if you keep doing that. Alright, so we're done with these two wind turbines. Let's go see what's in the building. Uh, let's cr crouch down and go this way. Alright, open you guys. Nothing inside. Nothing on the ground. Got another framed art if we want it. We don't. Circuit board. Open, open. Repair patch. I thought that was another poster. Uh, we got some helium over here. Good, helium fuel. And another repair patch. Is it trying to warn me about something with all of these repair patches? <laughs> Alright, so let's go back. Nope, that didn't happen. Around there. And up. Now, don't need to go there. Where was I? I was out over there. Oh, the ladder. That's where we are. Now, can I jump off this? I think so. And that's an inn. Another circuit board, which is really a GPU. More patches. Fuel. Good stuff. More fuel. Though I'm not one of these like I've seen others playing. When they see the, the lower quality synthetic fuel, they say, Ew, and then they just walk right by it. I will take any fuel. Thank you very much. I already have one of these posters. They're... Well, actually, that's not the big one. Some of those posters are huge. Um, this room's done. Let's check out this one. Repair patch, fuel, fuel. That's 35 fuel so far. Another five, good. Another poster. Folks who used to live here, I guess they, they liked that one poster. They had a lot of them. Everyone had to have their uh, their joint project oxygen poster. <laughs> All right, you two, and we're back home again. So while we're here, let's go ahead and drop off a few things. Boy, I tell you, it's been a while since I played this. I don't remember which which uh, storage containers have what. Drop these. Drop all of those off. Uh, I'm thinking fuel was back here in the corner. 
hopefully we uh, find the blueprints to uh, uh, get the, uh, the better cabinets, better storage soon. Um, what do we got over here? All right, these miscellaneous guys. We'll drop that into there as well. Uh, the other fuel, we can get rid of that. There we go. 55 of those so far. And still carrying what? Uh, battery, which is good. Some food, some water. Could use... We've got room for some dirty f water. Okay, we're good. All right, so we've done all the buildings up here. There were the two of them. Let me see the other side of this. Yeah, down the ladder and into there. Okay. Don't fall in the hole. And something to read. Delivery of an automatic extractor prototype. Ooh. Operating extractors gives everyone a hard time. The sores on hands from hours of squeezing the trigger. The painful back from the concussions when extracting. The headache from the noise. Never thought about these things while I was running that deck extractor. And above all, how much time it all takes. But today we are supposed to get a prototype of the automatic extractor. We are all very excited this could be the end of our problems. We are still waiting for the airship with the package. I hope that the coming storm will not hinder the delivery. Ah, they're explaining what happened, aren't they? Probably going to find a wrecked airship here too. Oh, hello. I think that's it right there. So it crashed through the roof. Okay. Is this the rest of the airship? It might be. <laughs> so can I scan you from above? Ooh, I can. There we are. Machine for automated collection of resources from the environment. Cool. Turn that off. And here comes our storm. I think if I am away... From the airship it won't take lightning damage I think the game focuses on your location not just the airships so I think if I walk away from it even if we get a lightning storm it's, I'm not gonna come back and find it all damaged but in case we do we've got 10,000 repair patches so no problem Nothing in those. This one's pretty bleak and empty. It's supposed to uh, depress you and think, oh, there's nothing here. Now, we came in from above, so we're heading down. Didn't miss anything, right? Almost stepped off onto the uh, what looked like another pathway there, another scaffolding. So, this way, helium, more wreckage. Nothing in there. Got this frame in between. Interesting. And this guy... I'm guessing we get to from somewhere else. Or we drive our ship over and get into there. So, we've got to drop a battery in here. And I always keep a spare. Just in case. Gets us into here and a whole bunch of circuit boards. Good. There you are. Flashlight? Yeah, much better. What's on this side? One of you and one of you. Nothing inside. Nothing in there. Another helium. We're going to have enough to fuel the whole engine for, for long. Okay. This room looks good. Anything up above? Nope. My way out, just one way out, and it's not that way. All right, came from here, that building. So what's next? Up above goes to where we came from. There is no down, so it looks like we're going here, and that looks like a. A no return trip. I think I'm going to bring the airship down. I'm not convinced that uh, we're going to get back up. So I have been gone for, oh, I think it's close to three weeks since I recorded, but a lot of that was spent 
uh, on a trip. So I was gone for like 10 days. Uh, let's put some food in us and some water. Both of those. Do we have any dirty water around? Out here. You. Out here. There. And water purifier. There you are. Perfect. So, and then I finished off well, a major portion of that renovation that I was working on. So, that's finally out of the way. What kind of room do we have available for upgrades? Let's put this guy over here. And, what, charging? Where am I? Here? There you are. Tool charger. Nope. You're supposed to be there. Will you stay? Thank you. There we go. I want to put, let's see, two, 900 out of 1300. Okay. I want to put some scaffolding out front. Some catwalk, I guess they're called. Do we have, we do. So, oh, that's right. Big update since last episode. Storage has been revamped. These small boxes these used to have six spaces, now have nine, and a lot of the of the individual categories have been doubled. So that's probably one of the biggest complaints that they received was storage it was just too frustrating. So they they did do something to, to fix that. So let's double all these up, send you back, put you there. Okay. So that gives me some building materials. I think it's all I need for catwalks. So two uh there there and there okay out here let's see how far we can go i want to be able to walk around the front of the ship a storm is coming, a storm is coming of course i'm about to get zapped aren't i got to run out of materials here real soon yeah, that worked. Okay. So, um, let's take a chance. We've got plenty of repair parts, so let's not duck under this time. Uh, backing up. I'm clear back here, right? Yeah, so I can back up. Let's get down to that, uh, all that scaffolding down below. from down there rather than drop down. If I can find it again. So let's get out and around so I can see what what is what. There it is. And I want the other side, don't I? Pretty sure I do. Okay. Let's fly around. Now the big scaffolding or big catwalk out front makes it easier to pull up to buildings and and a board in that way but it does take away a lot of your view kind of hard to see where you're going all right so we're getting close it's underneath this guy right let's spin around and drop nothing under me no a lot of moths wow look at that that's scary Oh, am I already down that low? Where am I? 215. I went down quick. I thought we were a lot higher than that. So we're down at a level where we're not really in danger from lightning. Now I want to tuck in as close as I can. Oh, I wish I had running lights where my flashlight would work while I'm attached to the steering wheel. Something like that. Okay, we're we're making contact. Let's get up. Oh, we're making contact. Am I hitting? I'm not hitting my uh, turbine. Let's see, wrong button. Right there. Okay, I think it's as far forward as I can go. What am I hitting? Oh, we're hitting this guy. Okay. Um, five. No, no repairs needed. What was I hitting? Everything here is fine. 
Um, nothing else was hitting. Odd. Okay, so turn five off and look. That's not bad. It's, I wish I could get this a little bit closer. Can I? Oh, I'm scraping hard here. Let's try pulling out, forward, and over. Oh, it forced me back. Okay, full speed ahead and stop. I think it's all it's going to give me. Now, am I too high or can I... No, I should be able to jump up onto that. Okay, so we are here. Um, stats look pretty good. I could do with an energy boost in case I have any sprinting or jumping to do. So if I were to look for something like that, that's where I would find it. Okay. Drink you. That gives us a boost in energy. And we are ready to go. Oh, there we go. Well, I just worried about that. Okay, we're in. Now, what else is in this place? Machine parts. Machine parts. Okay, we found Machine Parts Central here. And that looks like an escape route. Oh, that gets us down into the lower section over there. Ah, boy, there's a bunch going on down below, too. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to be here a while. Now, if I had the hand extractor, I could pull all this glass out from the inside of the building. Can't really do that with the, uh, with the airship. But you've got to get down below the dust to get the energy crystal in order to get the hand extractor going. And we aren't there yet. Now, I've got enough of my renovation done where I'm going to probably take like a week off of renovating and just do this for a while. Get a couple episodes out for each of the three series that I'm running and I'll enjoy life again. And then go back to... to uh, to the drudgery of... Well, it's not really drudgery. It's just that it goes on forever. So here is the old broken model of the of the automatic extractor. But renovating, it's it gives you a sense of accomplishment when you get done. We've got the master bedroom done. It's textured and painted. Here's the airship that crashed right through the wall. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's the one that delivered this part. Boom. But we've got the, so the walls are done, texture paint is done, carpet is in, and it's comfortable, it looks good, it's it's a nice room, got, it's an old brick building we're in, so got one window on one side that I've got a box fan in, and then two other windows that open up, give us cross ventilation at night, so nice cool evenings to sleep in. It's a good place. Master bathroom is next and we didn't get a chance to get that finished in time so I'm gonna have to very carefully do that while living in the bedroom without messing it all up mudding and taping and texturing the new bathroom. Then I've got to get the new uh, same place? Yeah. The new shower installed. That's always fun to do. Trying to lay out the floor and align the drain and all that stuff. So, lots more to do. But I'll take some time and get back to enjoying the channel for a while before going back to that. Boy, there's a lot here. Hopefully you guys aren't getting nauseous. My camera's swinging around, but there's a lot to see. Alright, so we have done the first floor all through there. We've done out in here. Up here, whoa, wow, there's a hole, and that leads to nothing. It gives us a view, okay, so we have a way up over there, I'm guessing. Where it goes to, I'm not sure. Um, if the sensor's more above, but I don't see a way to get there other than the airship. And the lightning has finished, so we could do that. Ah, oh, okay. A little bit of a clinch going on there. <laughs> All right, how do I get out of this maze? Right here. Let's see if we were allowed to, to walk up this guy. Yep. Whoa. No, not much up to go to. Anything over here? No, this floor is 
pretty much gone. Over here. Nope. Can't do it. Try one more time. Up here to there. Nothing over there. This is not advisable. Anything else that diagonals me up in the air and is there any reason to do it? I think we just have an old hulk of a shell. That is it. Okay. So I'm going to call this room done. Let's get back... I wonder if there's anywhere that I can't go without having the hand extractor. I'm trying to find my, the place that I started. So... This side, right? Yeah. That tunnel. That's not the same one. There we go. So let's see what's down this way. And I didn't miss anything, right? No other pathways down. This wall doesn't come out with the hand extractor. No. Okay. Whoa. Okay, if you're a little height sensitive, don't look down. <laughs> I'm only height sensitive if I fall. Oh, hello. Okay, we're not going this way. Without an airship. Okay. And this way... Just dead ends into a wall and a drop. Okay. So let's get creative and work on that other side another way. I think. We'll try that building that had no door and see if there's a way in and out of it. Now I've got to get there. And I am not going to make that jump. I'm going to go ahead and do the climb on board thing. Ah, much better. Falling to your death, even in a game simulated, is just not a nice experience. Uh, let's see, shift? No, yeah, shift. Now, let's pull away and back out and not continue scraping all the way. Alright, we're out. Now, I want to get into that thing. Unless there's another way in. There is no way in from the top. Is there any way in from the side? Like, you know, if we let off into this area. I don't see any opening there. Let's swing around look at that first floor all the way around. Okay. If we extracted all this glass, there might be a way, but... I'm not convinced I want to try to scale that opening while crawling. I don't think there's a way in. Uh, that doesn't look promising. No, I'm going to say... That's a no. It looks like there's no floor in there. Okay, so let's head up. Head over to... Uh, top of that one? No. Top of this one, for starters, we'll go ahead and... Well, we'll hold off on the battery until we know that we've got the place done. There's a chance this isn't going to work, but... I'm hoping I can jump into here. Okay. Perfect landing. Just ignore the... Uh, the crunchy noises. And let's get some more water while we're at it. Let's grab you and put you in. Okay. And we're still good stats-wise to get through the rest of this. Where's the bottom? Okay. This room. Open. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Brings us into this space. Machine parts. Ooh, data pad. A viewing corner. Okay. That would be... Ooh, a glassed-in corner. That'll be fun. Okay. Anything over here? 
Nope, that's just a stack of them. Drop. This room's done, right? Yeah. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> nope. Hydration Nothing. Is decreasing. Hydration is decreasing. Actually, I'll drink one of these guys. They don't store too well. Okay, what's in here? Machine part. That's it there. These guys are like the very first episode where the the uniforms were, were stacked and you couldn't interact with them. So those are the cabinets that don't work. You have nothing in ya. Couple over here. Nope. Bunch of false hopes. There's the one place we could have jumped into and that didn't look very promising. So I'm glad I didn't try. This room. Another cabinet that doesn't work. And a bunch of desks. So, data card. A casual table. So, we've got to figure out just how we go about making furniture. I don't think that's the fabricator. Here's another, another tool out there. Another appliance. Or workbench kind of thing. So, foods. That's it there. This room. Nope. Did I come in here? I came in here. So let's go this way. You. Another food. Again, they don't stack too well, so I want to keep a couple of them for emergencies for when we're just not in a good place where we can go fishing for for moths. And we're right there at the end of our food ready to starve. We got something to uh, quickly just grab and eat. They look like a can of sardines. Yeah, do do kind of look like that. Uh, food right now. I'll go ahead and do one of them. Okay, so done here. Nothing above. We've run that circle. Didn't miss anything between the desks. Like more helium fuel. No, looks good. Don't fall in the hole there. So I think we're same place. Came from here. Okay. So we did all this. We did all this. We did all this. I think we're done. Hmm. So the big prize was the automatic extractor. No, we haven't been here. Okay. What are you? You're just for a pretend. Okay. And I thought there'd be four. One, two, three. Okay. Through here. Oh. So we could have boarded right here. I see. Might have even been able to drop into here if we... Yeah. If we'd known what was here, I guess this would have been a way in. Okay. So there was a, a second way. Otherwise... The way that we were meant to come in, food rations, is where? We we're meant to come in there. No. Yeah, right there. So this would have had to have been removed. And I guess we could have just got our own duck gun out and did that from outside. So, yeah, I didn't have to have the hand extractor. Okay. Oh, one more. And one more machine part. Which you can never have enough of. Those are used to build a lot of things. So I'm going to work my way back out the way we came. Which is going to take a while for this rat to figure out the maze. And I'll catch you on the other side. There it is, the ladder that goes up. And we're home. Good. Alright, no lightning right now, so what do we need to get rid of? And where is everything? Yeah, we need a complete redesign. Toss these guys in here. Fuel landed over here. Gives us 90 now. What did we have? We had. We have one? 
Okay, one turbine over there, one turbine there, and one there. So we've got three turbines and two engines. Okay. Um, Fuel-wise, we're running the biofuel over there. And that guy there. Let's fix that. Where am I? Here. Let's grab you. And we'll put the helium in there. And helium doesn't mean that it runs any faster or better. It really just runs longer. So you get much more mileage out of the same... Out of, I don't know, whatever they're measuring. Gallon, liter, what have you. So you are going there. We'll start building this up again. So that means the other engine's going to run out much sooner. But we'll just refuel that as we go. So I've got this guy. I've got these to get rid of right there. Um, those, water, we need rest soon. Let's go take a look at our food inventory, which isn't much. We'll go ahead and drop, say, four of those in. We'll eat these other ones. And we'll toss you, yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, oh, isotonic, old isotonic drink. In other words... Pepsi or Coke. Um, there, yeah. So you go there. Food there, and we are good for whatever comes next. Now the update gave us. What do I have here? Again, it's been a while. We don't have the upgrade station yet. We don't have a lot of anything, so we need to get to working on those. Um, we'll do this first. Gave us the automatic deck extractor which can then be upgraded to the oh, a deck extractor where you can choose what each of those four compartments are going to store and you can turn the thing off to save batteries. They also allowed, allowed us to make a second fabricator before you only got the one. So you can be making things twice as fast. There is the extractor, the hand extractor, that's going to need the energy crystals we get down below. And we're not going to waste helium at this point on helium fuel. I'm fine with making the biofuels or what have you. Um, balloon core. That gives us a second balloon if we want it. But I think one big balloon is adequate for what we're going to do. Um, that is it there. So over here, tools. Upgrade station we need. This requires polymers, motherboards, and transformer. So motherboard. Do we even have the ability to do all this? Transformer. Uh, polymers. Three. And you are... I believe what we make polymers out of. So, more of these guys. So let's make a couple more polymers. And... Need to rest. Let me rest in between each polymer. Get a little bit of each happening at the same time. You need more synthetics. Uh, they were there. So 100 left before I have to go make some more. Another polymer. Grab another hour's rest. We'll just piecemeal this thing together. One more. Completed. So, back to here. Upgrade station. Need another transformer. Transformer, if I'm correct, is three each of these and these. Yeah. That makes you... Another hour's, half hour's sleep. There we go. So that's getting our rest bar up rather than just wandering around here trying to find something to do while this is cooking. Okay, there is our upgrade station. Let's get that guy going. He's going to take a long time to make, so we can get a rest bar upgraded quite a bit there. Now, temporarily, where do you go before we redesign the ship again and figure this stuff out? Four back up a little bit. One thing I'd like to do, last time I believe it was, I moved the cab forward, but there's still some more forward of the balloon, right? Two, there, there, there. 
Oh, I can't even look at it. Okay, I'm pretty sure the balloon expands forward one more time, which means I want this cab clear out over there so that when I look up, I can see the sky and not just the balloon. Get the, the whole cabin, whoops, I'm hitting some, you know, the whole length of the balloon. So when I get to the point where I expand that again, we'll kick this out another three or four compartments. Then we'll start laying out the uh, the final plan of the of the whole uh, floating fortress here. So turn you off, and where to put temporarily? Boy, another storm's coming in. Hate to just plunk it here in the middle. I guess I'll put it right here. That might that might work out fine. So four, something like that. And let's wipe out that last can. So this allows us at this point to make the automated insect catcher, which is really nice, and then upgrade both the turbines and the engines. So we can go, does it make us go f higher or does it just make us lighter and more efficient version? Oh, plus 35 meters, so we can go higher. Okay, good. So we'll do that three times or four times. We get, yeah, we get four of them eventually, one on each corner. That should take us up probably to the maximum that the game allows us to go. Um, what has been happening around here? Got water in there. Uh, pull you. There's no more of that water. In fact, let's get let's move things around a little bit here, unless it starts to uh, to rain on us or to storm on us. Um, Q. Nope. Let's grab another E. It's raining, so it's filling up. Where is my pickup? There you are. Q. The third time I've held that down. Um, let's put you out over here. And put a second one over there. Just to ensure our water production a little better. That requires what? Water right there. I need copper and plastic. There's plastic. There's copper. Don't know how much. We'll grab. Actually, we'll grab all of it. That's only 92. It's only one stack now. I can see the... The difference it used to be in 20s now it's in stacks of 100 so that gives us one of these let's go put a bunch of this stuff back so plastic electric machine copper was landing over here you guys all condense into there you guys are I guess you don't condense anymore it's still the same bottles okay and I was dropping these into there for some reason. Okay, so you're done. Let's put you out. All right. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So you guys collect rainwater. I want to get windows into all these. I don't like being able to step through this X. <laughs> I might step through this one accidentally thinking that it's okay, so I don't want to get used to stepping through those. Um, so what next? What is a good new destination? There are new places on the map from the last update, and it would be nice to get under the dust soon, maybe next episode. Let's, um, let's head toward the exclamation mark over there, the 1.49 kilometers. Uh, that's most likely an under the dust elevator. And there's a question mark in, right before it. I don't know if that was there last time or not, or if that just reappeared or appeared because of the update. So let's get off in that direction and see what those two are. Uh, at the very least, the question mark. So bring you up a little, swing you away. Don't hit over there. And question mark is kind of in front of us. Go for an orange light right there, and it'll be the one right behind it. So, heading in. The elevation is 227. If we go down some, we can keep from hitting all of these guys. Or if we go way, way up, we can keep from hitting them. But, an orange light is a platform that most likely lands right at... Oops. Right at 228. So... We'll see if that works. We're hitting something or something's hitting us. Ah, over here. What is that? Oh, that's that guy. How did you get rotated around? Oh, we added this in. 
that's what happened. I have a feeling I need to get some food going. Let's do that real quick. Um, what do we want here? E? There you are. Pull you aside. And not what I wanted. There. Let's move you over. I guess I gotta get closer. There you are. Pick up and let's bring you over by the by the cooker. You belong over here. But let's run this a couple of times, get some food cooking while we're traveling. So drop you, get some more distance. Yeah, of course. Don't you hit me. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, caught something in here. Now the automated one will bring it up for you and won't do this little dance. That's kind of nice. A glowing one. Oh, good. And drop you again. Get you cooking. And get a little more distance here. Now these guys, these floaters, are going to be coming at a much faster rate. They're going to do some more damage when we are driving in a storm. So that turns out to be all the little white flashes. Like that guy right there smacked us hard. Okay, drop you in there. Oil. So now we've got dinner waiting for us when we get there. Coming in, they're coming in fast. Boom. Turbine damaged, okay. But we don't need much height for this one. We just need to notice these buildings in the in the fog here and not whack one of them. Okay. Communication point reached. Feels like I'm drifting to the side, like the wind's pushing me. Okay, good height. And we'll drop in about there. Leaves the uh, the fishing available. Boom, we're here. So we can still fish if we need to. Otherwise, we've got... Don't need any food at the moment. Let's just grab you and drop you in here. Maybe we'll bring the other one with us to eat. Um, do need a drink, though. So we'll work on those and we'll drop you into there and you into there that gives us a quantity of six space available for dirty water and we'll keep you with us all right what we got over here more water here when we need it um that gets us down below and oh i didn't grab the battery out of that last one yep i was gonna wait till we finished the job then i didn't go back Darn. Okay, so we'll drop down here to the ladder. This one we are going to finish, so we don't have to worry about waiting to the end to grab the battery. And one of the changes on the, from the update is that we will gray out on the map this time once we pull the battery out of here. So the radar will no longer show this location as a, as a lit location. I don't see any plastic in there, and that's too far to drop. Sun melons. See vines, but no, no fruits. Okay, uh, that's our way down, isn't it? Yeah, I think. No, it's not. The uh, the ladder, the stairs are. <laughs> well, it was a it was an adventure. Okay, I got the plastic. Um, any hiding over here? Storm's over. Here's one. Okay. What else is out here? Water. More plastic. Oh, I thought there was a drop through those bushes there. Okay, no more plastic. These guys. Yep, one hiding over there. Ah, a bunch of them over here too. 
feel like there's something right under there. That, I did see something. Ah, another one. And the storm's back. Okay, we are full of dirty water. Which doesn't sound like a compliment. Um, I, I miss a building. Right there. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. I didn't even see that staircase. So how do you sneak into here? Uh, oh good. I hate those leaps over nothing to get to the door. Data card. A wall lamp. Okay. Nothing in there. A drink. Simple lure. I will take it. Anything in the air? No. Didn't miss anything in a corner. Nope, I think we're good. Okay. So, off to that question mark. We'll see what that is, and then maybe we'll find the, uh, the elevator to head down below and call the episode done. And home is over here. And we have no more space, right? Right. We need to make another one of these. I'm tempted to do it before, but I wanted to finalize the location. I want the kitchen to be right here, but now I want to move this cab several spaces forward, which means the whole kitchen is going to move further forward too, which means a lot more to try to move later. So I think I'll hold off just yet. Um, in here, let's drop off what we found. You, those two, need to eat you soon, but not yet. That's plus 55 food, so that's clear down over here. Uh, these will hang on to battery, good, and food for that one. Actually, for both. Uh, no room for it, though. So, we'll just leave you pinned over here. Okay. Alright, so... Do I leave? I think so. I think we're fine. Okay, take off. Heading for... Just off to the left. So, up high enough. That building there, I guess. See that again. It's next to a wind farm. So the wind farm is the white, so it is actually the... Uh, oh, it's this structure right here. So it should flash it as the name of it. And that's not your typical 228 height. So let's take this up a bit. Probably a 244 height. Nope. Location reached. Unknown location. Okay. So I guess we have to land before it's going to figure it out. Let's pull off over here. Drop. I love that glass floor. Almost. There it is. 235. Temporary camp. Okay. Now we could hold to see more. Towers used to maintain communications. Someone built a shelter here. And it says we need to go and find a wrecked soft cushion. Now, I happen to know what that means. There's a little critter we're going to find down below in the, under the dust that could be, I guess you can consider him a pet. So, this will be his bed when that time comes, which is probably next episode anyway. <clears throat> um... Nothing around here. So, temporary shelter. Folks lived here for a while. They didn't leave much behind, that's for sure. This kind of looked like grow beds. Looked like dirt. So this was some kind of a greenhouse or something. Okay. Yep. Ladder. K 
can't get in there. Oh, they expect that you have already... Yeah, already been down below and made the hand extractor. Can we shoot this thing from there? We're going to have to try. Or can we see it from above? Through a hole. In the roof. Oh, almost. Not quite. Okay, no, can't cheat that way. A lot more growing going on here. Ladder down this side. Any reason why to go out there? None whatsoever. Nor there. And... Nothing hiding in there. All the opportunities they miss to reward you for searching all the little spots. Now, well, not much else going on here. So just that cushion, that pet cushion that we couldn't get to. Up on the roof. Nothing to get up here either. Wow. So it's all for show. Okay, so we need to sneak the ship in from the side over there and try to get into that compartment. Or maybe even from here. Okay, that's possible. So that was it over on this side. I don't think we got a single thing out of this. Ah, we got a water. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't a complete goose egg. Ah, food. Yeah, the diligent are rewarded. But I guess I'm trapped in there. So I'll go this way. All right. We'll run up the stairs here, up the ramp. And get exhausted immediately. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the battery. We're going to find some way. Well, no, I take that back. It might be de designed with hidden walls, invisible walls, to make sure that we can't get it any other way and have to come here after we've been down below. So I better not lose it on the map. Okay, so we've got a building over there. We have a deck down there. Is there a way to get down there? Huh. And too bad the game doesn't let you build anywhere outside of your ship. It'd be nice to roleplay the idea of moving into one of these towers and making a base out of it. I will take you... Just one in there. We'll make another lure out of you. Yeah, I see you. There. No more? Okay, this guy doesn't really lead anywhere other than here. Water. And no door. What are you doing to me here? You're making me leap to there. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm smarter than that. I'm just gonna fly over there. Alright, well, there's no storm at the moment. So what did it take to make that better lure? Food. Oh, my mouse pad has slid off. There we go. You. Wrong one, you. So, copper. Make one of these. Put the rest of these away. Uh, copper goes there. And drop you in there. And we'll eat you, drink you, just to clear out the inventory. You are... We still got two days before you go bad. Alright. And I guess we'll call... We have one that work, works as a really good miscellaneous. You are. We'll put the lure in there. And probably this lure as well. Alright, we'll do that. Alright, let's fly over to that door. So, I want to be down over there. I'm going to get 
bombarded by this flying debris. Swing hard. Where are you? Right there. And it's starting to rain. Probably a lightning storm soon, just to add to the sense of, uh, of needing to hurry. Alright, where's our height? Oh, that's it. Let's sneak in a little closer. Right there. Okay, yep, I'll grab one of you. Open both of you guys a, another lure. Great. Maybe we'll get a second of the uh, of the f fishing poles, we can call them. Be able to bring up one moth for each cooker at the same time. Boy, I like that idea. All right, any fuel just kind of sitting out here? Nope. All right, back on the ship. Let's see if we can shoot out that that door. Um, going to the wrong end. Now, going for the far side over there. It's going to lightning on us. I just know it. Pull back, swing around. Okay, we're going to stay low for the 230 mark. No idea. I guess I can look over there. I'm recording for 50 some minutes. Okay. We're fine. So, it's through that opening. How best to pull that off. Let's come up a little above that fence line. Let's back up. Pull in. Hop over. See if we can get a little bit closer to this. Strafe it a little bit. Okay. Still not as close as I wanted to be. Okay. Well, let's stop there. See if this deck gun has a view. Oh, look at that. And we're in. Okay, good. Anything else to shoot while we're here? Yeah, there's random things. Glass is always welcome. You can't just mine that from the sky. And that's enough for now. Okay, we need to get back over there. What's the easiest way to get over we can get back? That ladder. So, E, up a little. About there, and drop in. Perfect. Didn't even scratch the the paint. Drop into you. Pull out this guy. What have we got? There you are. Ah, what are you called? You are a wrecked soft cushion. A comfortable pet bed. Okay. Do you remember the forests? Hmm. Drove through a lot of forests last week. Drove about... Oh, between the two trips, I took 2,500 miles last week. Week and a half. So, a lot of driving. Changed the oil in the van before we left and ready for another oil change. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. Question mark is taken care of. Let's lift and back up. And can I just swing? I think so. Did not get the light. That's right. Decided to hold off. So we are high enough. We clear? We do. Let's go even higher. Let's go right up to it. Pull back. Down. Over. Up. Right about... I think I'm really, really close. Yeah, I think we're basically touching. Kind of hard to tell their perspective like that. There we go. Oh, in the face. Whoa. Let's go. Yeah. I guess we're just going to run and jump that one. Okay. And drop you off. Thank you. And I did get the water out, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, then. We are heading dead ahead. 
though we do have the wind farm ahead of us. So maybe we'll stop at the wind farm and start next episode there. And then those curly, oh, plant-like towers off into the fog there. That's our destination with the purple light up on top. So that'll be next episode. We'll go down under the dust and see what's going on over there. But let's get across to here. Slow down, let these guys go by. They do quite a bit of damage when they slam into you. When they're coming at you and you are hit, going forward at it, it compounds the speed and really whacks you. Okay, let's get through this. And I'm seeing... Ah, uh, another lockbox. Okay, we do have our knife now. And we could actually grab down here. And we could dock down at this point. That way if we get a lightning storm, we're not the highest point. I think I'm there. Alright, jump out of this. And call this done. So, thanks for watching, folks. And we'll catch you next episode. Bye-bye now.